Here's one of the homestead. I'm Jeff. So this part of the video then is going to be all about the switches, the sockets, the 120 switch, 120 sockets, and a lamp that's 120 that I wired is 12 volts. Check it out. So right here I have DC coming to here, 12 volts. It's in the off position. This here will actually power my lighting here in my utility room. They got 12 volts lights. If you also notice, those sockets are actually little $2 ceiling sockets that are also rated for 120 volts. But I got them wired as 12 volts. And I wired them the exact same way that I wired the, uh, the, the um, outlet. Not the switch, but the outlet. Now let me show you what I did in my barn. Alright, so what you see there is red and black wires that are actually coming into the barn right through that hole. The main wires are coming over here and going into this little distribution box. All I do is just wire tie them together. I have a bunch coming out and some going down. The two reds going down are going right to that switch. This switch here is not being used that one is wired up so I just have the line coming down and going right back up with the switch in the middle the blacks I just have them all tied together and then the reds I have going around and right there I have the same type of light bulb and, and socket that I had in the earlier in the video but here's what else I did I also ran the line down over here by my computer and what I did was see how we can get in here and look at this I took the standard outlet like I showed you earlier in the video I turned it upside down here just to help remind everyone in case my writing gets wiped off that that's DC so that's wired as 12 volts just like I showed you earlier in the video. Now this lamp, this lamp right here, is a standard lamp you buy at Walmart or something. But the light bulb that's in it is the same light bulb as your LEDs that I have in those other sockets. So that's a seven watt light bulb. And that one there's a seven watt light bulb. This one here I do not have hooked up to the switch. I have it live, so I just have to turn it there. But so I've taken this 120 volt lamp and with just a light with a 12 volt light bulb, I've made it into a 12 volt lamp. So when you're going to look at your your items and you're thinking 12 volts, realize that you don't have to buy a 12 volt lamp. You don't have to buy a 12 volt socket or 12 volt switch you can use 120 volts and use use it in a 12 volt way as long as you're wiring it the right way then you're not going to blow anything and you've got the right socket for the uh, the uh, the lamps these sockets I believe are called an E26 that's the socket base and uh, let me show you uh, let me show you the light bulb alright so on the light bulbs you guys recognize that standard light bulb. This is called an E26 base. There's more of your older fashioned. I like these better. This is a three way 50, 100, 150 watts. What is this one? It's a 210 milliamps, didn't we? Oh, 13 watts. So this is a 13 water. But the bases are the same. And then you have this LED one. I forget the price of these. I bought them online somewhere. Here it is up close. But it's a 12 volt, I don't know how well it's coming out, but it says 12 volt, 7 watt, and that base is exactly the same type of base as these. 
So I could use this in any 120 volt lamp or socket as long as the plug that I plug it into the outlet is a 12 volt outlet. So yes, you take this, make it into 12 volts. I label it, make sure that you know what it is, and then you can power it out by plugging it in the, into here. So that's about it for this one. Thank you for watching my video today, and I appreciate you watching it all the way through there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Every little bit helps support my channel. My name is Jeff, and you've been watching Arizona Hot Homestead.